the one parameter differential equation dy dt equal cosine of y plus alpha. And first of all, the question was about any bifurcation values, okay? And that's easy because we just look, as we said, bifurcation values. We look for the constant solutions. So if you look at the constant solutions for this autonomous differential equation, we put cosine of y plus alpha equals zero, and we get that cosine of y because we have to solve for y equal minus alpha. So as long as alpha is between minus one and one, we do have solutions. And if it goes beyond one or below minus one, we have no solution. So if uh, alpha is less than minus one or alpha greater than one, we have no solutions. If alpha is between minus one and one, then we have many solutions. So clearly now we see that alpha equal one or alpha equal minus one are bifurcation values. Great. Next, uh, you can we can also see this one by graphing uh, the, the graph of cosine of y versus y, and then plus alpha, either we shift it up alpha unit uh, if alpha is positive, or we shift it down uh, alpha unit if alpha is negative, okay? So that's another way we can see this. So next they want us to draw the phase line, the phase line, lines, for different values, okay? So if we take the alpha equal uh, minus 2 first. So in this case, dy dt is equal to cosine of y minus 2. It's always negative, and therefore the phase line is going to be uh, there are no constant solutions, and it's always going down. Next, we take alpha equal minus 1. So in this case, dy dt is equal to cosine of y minus 1. And uh, when you look at for the constant solutions, they are obtained when cosine of y is equal to 1, and that is 0, 2 pi, or multiple of 2 pi. So you have plenty, you have 0, and then you have 2 pi, then you have minus 2 pi, etc., etc. So, uh, cosine of y minus 1 is always negative, so the solutions, uh, uh, the phase line will have arrow going down all the time. Next, we go for alpha equal uh, 1, and I will keep minus 1 half and 1 half at the end, so this is cosine dy dt equal cosine of y plus 1. So this one will always be positive, and the constant solutions are obtained when cosine of y equal minus 1, and that is pi, multiples of pi, huh? uh, but these are odd multiples of pi, okay? So you get uh, pi, so this is 0, this is pi minus pi, 3 pi minus 3 pi, etc. So these are your constant solutions. And it's always positive, so it's going up all the time. And finally, if we go to Not finally, sorry. If we go to alpha equal 2, then dy dt is equal to cosine of y plus 2. So we have no constant solutions. And the graph cosine of y plus 2 is always positive, so all the solutions are going up. Next, we go to... Uh, uh, 
uh, alpha equal uh, minus one half. Okay, then we have dy dt equal cosine of y minus one half. So here, for this one, I would like to, to, to do the graph and graph it for you so you will see what's going on. So first, uh, in black, I'm going to draw the uh, cosine of y, the graph of cosine of y, and then in red, I will shift it down half units, okay? So this is the graph of cosine. So this is pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, minus pi over 2, minus 3 pi over 2. And then we shift it uh, down half a unit. So it's going to be like this, like this, etc. So here, uh, what, what are these points here? Okay, as you can see, down you go, these two points here comes closer, okay? So these points, these two points are where cosine of alpha is, uh, cosine of y is equal to one half, and cosine of y equal to one half gives us 60 degrees, or pi over three. Uh, so this is pi over uh, three. Uh, and uh, this one will be minus pi over three. So uh, if I draw, if I want to draw my phase line, in this case, so we have uh, negative here, positive here, negative here. So it's going to be alternating sign, OK? So here is going to be, uh, let me draw it on the, on this side. So let me do it with different colors in blue, the face line. So we have what? At the zero is positive, so we have, this is the zero. So we have two, this is pi over three minus pi over three. Uh, so this is pi over three minus pi over three. And in between, uh, we have uh, positive, so it's going up. And then for the other ones, it's going to be down, up, down, up. So as you can see, some of the equilibrium points here are uh, a sink, and the uh, next one will be a source. So for example, pi over 3 is a sink, so this is a sink, and this is a source. The next one is So you see, it's a sink, source, sink, source, sink, source, okay? So if we go to uh, the same, exactly the same, if alpha equal one half, we get dy dt equal cosine of y plus one half. And in this case, as we did before, so this is, and we go, uh, in red, we go up now, okay, one half. So here we have one point here, one point here, one point here, one point here. So again, to find them, this is when uh, the, the, the constant solution, when cosine of y equal minus one half, and cosine of y equal to minus one half gives us uh, pi, this is pi over two plus pi over six, okay? So pi over two plus pi over six, that's 90 degrees plus uh, 30, that's 120 de uh, degrees, and that's uh, pi over six plus pi over two, three, four, pi over six, two pi over three, okay? And this one is pi minus 2 pi over 3, and that's uh, uh, 3. This one here is minus 2 pi over 3. So if I want to draw 
the phase line here. So we have the zero. So we have two here, two here, exactly symmetric, symmetrical. We are positive at zero, right? And uh, we are negative and then positive and then here negative and then positive. So as you can see, the 2 pi over 3 will be a sink, but the next one will be a source. And this one will be a source. And this one will be a sink. So this is a sink. This is a source. This is a, a source. And this is a sink. Okay, so this uh, gives me the phase line of all the cases uh, that they, you were asked about. And then, of course, classify the constant solutions with either sink source or nodes. And then we have to draw some solutions for alpha. Uh, let's go back. I want to go back to, to 1, okay? So if you take, uh, it's always up. So in this case, uh, alpha equal, this is alpha equal 1, huh? So you see this, all of them will be nodes. This will be a node. This will be a node. They are all nodes. And you, the same with alpha equal minus one. They are all nodes. Okay? So of course the other one we don't have any. So, so the last question, they want us to draw some solutions for alpha equal minus two. So here, so we go alpha equal uh, uh, alpha equal minus two. The solutions are all going down, and there are no constant solutions. So solutions are all going down. Alpha equal uh, minus one. Then we have zero as a constant solution here, and we have other ones here for every two pi, and the constant solutions will be, and the solutions are coming down all the time. Next, alpha equal uh, minus one half. So in this case, we have constant solutions are here. And in between, uh, so remember, at zero for alpha equal minus one half, at zero we had going up. So the solution would be going up here, going down, going up, going down, going down. So Next, for alpha equal one half, so we have again these constant solutions, and they repeat themselves. So at zero, it goes up, goes down, goes up, down, down, up. For alpha equal um, one, so in this case, all the solutions are going up. 
So we have pi minus pi, 3 pi minus 3 pi. And the solutions are all going up. And finally, for alpha equal 2, there are no constant solutions, and all the solutions are going up.